Our evening planner has temperatures dropping to about 57 degrees at 11 p.m. with increasing cloud cover becoming mostly cloudy by 11 p.m. And tonight, an overnight low of 50 degrees. So not too bad, not too chilly. Winds from the east between 5 to about 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow is expected to be a little bit warmer than what it was today. A daytime high in Grand Rapids of 70 degrees and 72 degrees in Kalamazoo with showers and storms developing mainly in the afternoon and evening. Our future track shows mostly clear to partly cloudy skies or rather partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies for the rest of tonight. Leading into tomorrow, the chance of rain will start to develop around 1030 in the morning. We'll see the chance of some stronger storms around 4 p.m. And that's going to be the story for the next couple of days on and off showers, some of which producing some thunderstorms and some heavier pockets of rain. 9 p.m. showing a similar story, eventually pushing towards the east and closer to 127 around 1 30 p.m. And then the chance of on and off storms will progress into your Thursday. It is not going to be consistent rain all day long, but there will be some on and off rain showers throughout the day all across West Michigan for the next three days leading into your Friday as well. So as we take a look at that severe weather outlook, we do fall under a marginal risk for locations along and towards the south of Grand Rapids on Wednesday and mainly towards the east of Grand Rapids, east of Holland, starting to build in towards it's Kalamazoo in Lansing for Thursday as well. Our Super 7 Day Planner showing those storms moving through with high temperatures in the lower 70s for Wednesday and Thursday, dropping to a daytime high of 67 degrees on Friday. But let's just put our hand over Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Not think about it. Let's look at Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. A gorgeous stretch of partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and high temperatures back in the 80s, 84 degrees on Memorial Day. Stay tuned to the Fox 17 for your latest updates. We'll have more on Fox 17 after the break.